everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Vaccines have been created to protect against new strains of the avian flu. Researchers at Kansas State University developed the vaccines against the H5N1 and H7N9 strains of the avian flu virus, which have become increasingly common throughout Asia and North Africa over the last several years. The vaccines were made by combining a section of the avian flu virus with the virus that causes Newcastle disease, a disease that affects poultry. The new vaccines were found to immunize chickens against both Newcastle disease and the new strains of avian flu. The researchers are hopeful that the Newcastle virus will be useful in developing more vaccines. Their next project is creating a new vaccine to protect against the PED virus, which has killed millions of pigs worldwide. The study on the Newcastle vaccines is published in the Journal of Virology. Next up, scientists have developed genetic barcodes that enable them to identify and profile individual cells in complex tissues. Typically, scientists rely on averages when analyzing the composition of tissues, but averages can be misleading since tissues are made up of many different kinds of cells. Now, scientists at Harvard Medical School have developed two methods of attaching tiny beads encoded with DNA sequences to cells in tissue samples. The two methods are called DROP-SEC and INDROPS, respectively. They operate differently from one another, but both methods have the same result. Tagging individual cells in tissue samples, allowing for precise, specific analysis. The scientists who developed DROPSEC and INDROPS are eager to use their new tools to study the cellular composition of the brain. They also hope to study stem cell populations. They've already discovered new cell types. Given that these new methods allow 10,000 cells to be individually profiled a day, those are likely just the first of many discoveries. The studies on DROPSEC and INDROPS are published in the journal Cell. And finally, astronomers are using the Hubble Space Telescope to study a star that is one of a kind. The star is located in our galaxy, about 3,000 light years from Earth. Its catalog name is NAST-1, but astronomers have nicknamed it Nasty-1. It's thought to be a wolf rayet star, which is a massive star that has exhausted its supply of hydrogen and exposed its core of helium. But Nasty One is unlike any wolf rayet star ever seen. When they observed it using Hubble, astronomers found that it is surrounded by a massive disk of gas that stretches nearly two trillion miles wide. Wolf rayet stars are traditionally thought to form when the stellar wind strips away the hydrogen from massive stars, but Nasty One may be the result of the star having its hydrogen cannibalized by a binary companion. Studying this unique object promises to yield new insights into the life cycles of stars. The study is published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Vaccines are developed for new strains of the avian flu. Scientists invent methods for tagging and profiling individual cells. And the Hubble telescope studies a one-of-a-kind star. That's the good news. I love you.